Douglas Miner is an artist. The 19-year-old university student resides in Kibera. Miner began painting many years ago while still in primary school. In 2012, he put on canvas his first piece. Surprisingly, for the aspiring artist, his artwork was sold for 6,000 Kenyan shillings. Realizing the potential of his talents, Miner decided to paint more pieces. And just like his first piece, customers were impressed with his painting skills. primary. a piece of paper, 6K. But then, he will come dog always pay a pesa. So the moment when I use, when I cap pesa, I use, when I cap pesa. So after I leave the class eight, I go and use several pieces. So that money then then he get, while it may pesa could pay school fees. In order to hone his skills, the young artist opted to join the Uweza Art Gallery, a Kibera-based facility. He sharpened his craft so much that he has been able to cater for his needs even at campus, and thus easing his family's financial burden. So, you know, when you have a PVF, you have to reduce your parents' burden. You have to So, at least, you have to decide to give you a raise. But you have to give you a raise. You have to give you The facility trains young artists and even markets their artwork on their behalf. 40% of the proceeds are plugged back into the facility for maintenance, while 60% end up in the artist's pockets. So, by buying or supporting the art gallery in purchasing their art, you also uh, getting most of our young people to keep themselves busy, one for one, and also get them out of maybe crime. Wesley Osoro is another budding artist at the Wezo Art Gallery. The 22-year-old university student is pursuing a bachelor's in arts history option. Just like Miner, he has also sold art pieces that catered for his secondary school fee. Art in the military fees, almost high school order. As we continue chatting with the artist, a customer walks in and buys two pieces. One belongs to Miner and the other Wesley. It's a good day for them. So I see myself going far. I didn't travel in the Kenya and the countries in Guinea. They are quite successful, but they say it has not come easy. As a fanya piece, it could like at more than two years. <laughs> I don't give up na much as a at Ningum. Nasa you could not come in and amaza two piece at a before a sign. This art center previously depended on grants from donors. 2018 was a good year for Weza Art Gallery. Even after targeting to make sales with a million Kenyan shillings, they exceeded and made a whopping two million Kenyan shillings. It is now self-sufficient and welcomes interested youth to come aboard. Basically what uh, Weza does is it gives the space for the artists in Kibera so that they can be able to do their, to do their artwork. The budding artists here say youths can make a living out of their talents rather than spending their time idling. Give us a mana. Switch TV.